Guys, talk about Fresno State. Does this feel like the most intense rivalry game on the schedule in terms of all the schools that you guys play? Um, I wouldn't say it's the most intense, but it's a definitely competitive game. For the last past two, three years, these games came down to the wire, and guys have had to make plays late in the game. So it's going to be the same thing this, this weekend. We're excited for it. What do you guys sort of think makes a good college football rivalry? Like some of the best ones out there, Stanford, Cal, whatever. What, what, do you, what in your mind, JJ, makes a good rivalry? Um, maybe like a trophy or something. Uh, <laughs> some hatred and just a great game, you know? I mean, every time you see it on the schedule, you know it's going to be two teams competing their tails off to the end of the game and both wanting to really win. Do you feel like this game between you and Fresno has the makings of all those three things? Trophy, some hatred, a great game? It definitely has the makings, yes. Do you remember what the trophy looks like still? Um, I know it's an oil can and and uh, I would really like to check it out after the game on Friday. So hopefully, hopefully we get that thing back. Uh, when did you guys find out about Quinn uh, going down, and, and what, what did you thoughts on the situation? Uh, well, after he got hurt and we tried to call a timeout, he started throwing, and he was fine then. But then when we came back uh, Sunday, he said he was he was having a lot of pain. So then we. Uh, we figured out he had a, a sprained AC joint. He wouldn't be able to go. Um, what, what's going to be like with Phil Nikbada? I mean, he's only been here um, spring, fall, summer. But do you feel like he's the, the guy to be able to uh, lead you guys to win? Well, the coach has been around a long time and evaluating players and stuff. So you have to trust their expertise. And when they gave him the backup job, so uh, we trust him and the coaching staff. But uh, we have to play a lot better. Uh, offensively, as a receiver, offensive line, and everybody to make sure uh, his job is easy. Sorry. Yeah, what would you say like the biggest differences between the two? Uh, there's not really a big difference. The biggest difference is experience. Uh, Quinn's been around here longer than than uh, Nick, but uh, Nick's a little bit more uh, mobile in the quarterback and a little stronger arm. So there's really the only three differences. How much do you feel that? extra strength in arm, I mean, does, it, does it come into your hands a little bit differently? Do you see it a little differently? Uh, not really see it a little differently because they're both right-handed, so it's coming from the same angle, but sure. it might get there a little faster or he might throw a little farther. That's the only, only difference. I could definitely vouch that. He um, he likes to thread a lot of more balls in than um, Quinn would, so he, de he definitely does think his arms are a lot stronger, and, and he <laughs> believes it too, so <laughs> it's a lot of confidence from this kid. And, you know, as a defensive back, we like that, so. Yeah, yeah. Did you see in, in, in spring, JJ, and, and then in the fall, how much did you see him kind of change and mature from when he first got here? Um, I would say just where he's placing the ball, a lot of times he would place it where it should be than where it needs to be. You know, so he's not only just throwing the ball, you know, in front if the, the, the defensive back is in front of him, he's going to throw the ball behind. You know, he's, he's a smart kid. He's, for a freshman, he, he's very smart. So we're excited to see what he can do this Friday. And how about the, he was kind of live, you guys were able to go after him, you know, in some drills. Um, how was, Rocky was talking about him running over some people, breaking blocks. You know, what did you guys see of that in, in camp? He's, the kid's athletic. He's, uh, he's athletic, he's, he's mobile. You know, he, like I said, he's willing to th throw that ball in there and, and he's, he's just a competitor. He's, I'm excited to see what he can do, truly. How about you, Luke? What, what did you see? Oh, first thing that I saw is I saw the learning curve pick up drastically after the spring. And he was, he was eager to learn, and he was with Quinn all the time, going over film, going over stuff like that. So he got to learn from Quinn and pick up the offense really fast for, for a true freshman because the difference in playbook from high school to college is, 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 uh, is a lot different. And he, he picked it up really fast, learned it, and he's making strides in his progressions and throws. Do you guys respect the fact that he came, got out of high school early? Because he kind of made some sacrifices in doing that. You, you guys must remember your senior years. Um, you know, you, you had to be the big man on campus, you know, that, that second half of your senior year. So do you respect the fact that you kind of gave some of that up? Uh, I, I definitely do. I mean, I enjoyed my time in high school. and. And I knew those precious moments that I had, so I couldn't wait to go to prom and, you know, play basketball and run a little bit of track. But he cut all that off to be here, and that says a lot about his character. 
honestly, I honestly didn't even know he was a. He was only 17 because we were here working out, and then he was like, oh, I got to go to my prom. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to what? <laughs> like, why are you here? But he's, he was big and physically strong and stuff like that, so I really didn't know he was a true freshman. So uh, you could respect the sacrifices that, we, that he made in his life, so uh, I respect what he's doing and, and happy that he's here. Yeah, I think he's uh, he came in early, and that, that really shows like he's dedicated to this program. Because the end of your high school career, that's it's a lot of fun, and he missed out on a lot of that. So. Yeah. Josh Gabbard, looking at Florida, Fresno <coughs> State. Uh, what, first of all, what do you remember about last year's game and, and um, this year? They, they've used kind of different offenses because they did, had different quarterbacks. Now they're kind of set on one quarterback. Um, what do you remember about last year's game? Uh, obviously, with Derek Carr. But now this quarterback, what stands out about him and what does he kind of bring to the table? Um, last year's team, I feel they threw the ball a lot. And just they, they didn't uh, run the ball as much because they had like Derek Carr and they had two NFL receivers. And this year, with the new quarterback, he's more mobile than Derek Carr was. So we have to worry about him tucking the ball and running. And he can, he can throw the ball as well. So they still have some re receiver threats out there. Is he similar to Blake Decker and Wade Browns? Because Blake Decker kind of took off a lot and he ended up tackling him a few times. Um, any comparisons there? And do you feel comfortable um, you know, being in that role now? Now that large is out, um, you're going to get more playing time. You, you said comparing to uh, Derek Blake Carr? Blake Decker last week, how he left the pocket. Or is he more? Oh, um, I mean, I think the guy last week was, was really fast. And this guy, he, he has some good speed. But uh, I think he likes to, he won't slide as much. And he'll, he'll duck his head and try to run you over, so. And, um, uh, Largent? Yeah, just, um, you know, with, with him out, obviously your role is going to increase um, in terms of the snaps. Um, did you feel comfortable last week being able to step in? Um, yeah, I was. At the end of the season when you're kind of, you know, kind of still stiff. Yeah, I, I was comfortable because, um, I mean, last year when Jake Feely came out, I had to step in. And I played the whole year, so, I mean, I, I, was, I was ready for that. And, um, I mean, beginning of the year, me, uh, Largent, and Munson, we all have been rotating reps like more equally too. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a big change. So I was ready for that. The up tempo offense in general for you defensive guys. Um, you know, you face another one this week. You've already had two. Do you feel like the more you see, the more it helps you then as the season goes on against teams like this, JJ? Um, yeah, I think so, especially after facing North Carolina. They were pretty quick, probably the quickest we've seen in a very long time. And so um, these other teams, they don't go as fast, but just getting the call is probably the most important thing and then executing the play faster than you normally would with a team that doesn't run that tempo is all it is, really. Does it help that we're a couple more three re weeks, really, down the line conditioning-wise? Did you guys feel pretty gassed toward the end of the North Carolina game? And do you think it'll? That was about like two weeks ago, so I can't really recall. But I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but did, does does fitness play a role? In it, I guess. Um, yeah, you could say so. But like I was going back to earlier, I think more than anything is just the mental game when that comes along. You know, it's getting the play fast and then executing the play. And that's more of the hardest thing it is for us because fitness and, and endurance and conditioning, all that is handled in winter and spring and summer. So that's out the question. We don't, it's really just take, comes down to us playing ball when, you know, the ball snapped. For both of you guys, you know, there were a lot of questions about the defense and then injuries came. Um, you know, there were the concerns about the young safeties. Do you feel like you guys have, have I mean, you're pretty statistically, you're well ranked within the country. Do you feel like you've at least played to a level that you needed to? And, and how much more room is there for improvement? I think, we, uh, I think we've been playing pretty good. And uh, our, our safeties and all the younger guys have stepped up. And they still can, they still can um, bring more to the table. And I think they will. As, as more of the season goes by. Yeah, I, I think so too. We've been playing pretty well, but 
One thing that we need to do a lot better is have more turnovers. We don't have enough turnovers, and we're not nearly causing as much as we should be. But I think that will come with a lot of confidence as the season goes on, and we'll be able to make a lot of more plays as a whole. You guys are on a tight schedule kind of this week of practicing on Monday. Um, based on that practice, how, how did body kind of handle it? I mean, did it feel a little bit different? Was he just as vocal? Was he more vocal than Flynn maybe? Oh, uh, going back to his development, he was a lot more vocal yesterday than he was when he first got here. Because when he first got here, we, you know, we had troubles hearing him uh, coming off the ball. But he's he's uh, stepping into the uh, starting quarterback position well. He's he's uh, getting accustomed to it, so it'll uh, it'll get better as the week goes along and we practice more. But there's there's no worries from from inside. Long, long mentioned how there's a little concern going into you know a Friday night game on a short week compared to them. They played a Friday night game last week, so they have an extra day of preparation. Um, do you feel like that kind of sets you back a little bit, or do you guys feel like you guys should... the we we noticed that when the schedule first came out, we can't make excuses. We can't say they got an extra day. We got a. Uh, a uh, day less and then we just got to be able to, when 7 o'clock comes around on Friday, we got to be ready to play ball. I think we're actually excited. We get to, we get to play a day earlier, <laughs> in my opinion. But is the, I guess, just the, you know, the game plan for the week, is it more condensed because of the freshman quarterback than it would otherwise be? Uh, you don't talk game plan in the interviews, so you'll see what happens on Friday. <laughs>